hi in this video i'm going to show you how to lay out a sheet in autocad okay so first we're going to start by opening the recent drawing that we worked on it's this one right here and yeah we we had we drew a bunch of drawings here yeah. and this was the model space yeah so the grid is apparently off so you can have that grid there or turn it off on and off yeah so we're working with the model space now we're going to work with the paper space and the paper space is where we have our layouts okay, so you can have as many layouts as you want uh, depending on how many of these objects you, you want to present and in which uh, fashion you want to present them so you can have as many layouts as you want and those layouts can be of any paper size that you feel is um, required okay so for for now we only need one layout so i'm going to delete layout two uh, yeah so i only have layout one so before we set up this page you start by getting rid of the viewport it comes by default each time you click the plus button uh, you always have the viewport there okay so this is where you visualize the object and put an object into focus if you if you if you've decided that's the object you want to appear on this sheet so we call that the viewport okay so let me get rid of layout two again and i'm working with only layout one so first delete the viewport go to the layout ribbon click page setup uh, layout one should be highlighted click modify and first you're going to choose the printer since we don't have a physical printer we're going to choose the option of changing dwg to pdf uh, now all autocad files are saved as dwg they have the file extension dot dwg so what you are doing is to print um, the drawing file or, or whatever it is to a pdf you select that as your your printer or plotter and for the paper size we, we are staying away from inches so let's choose and there are so many to choose from but we're going to go with iso uh, a3 uh, i normally work with the one which doesn't have the the full bleed so this one is iso a3 so we have two oriented we are the 297 by 420 this will appear as portrait as you can see in the preview so the length is mentioned first and then the width next so length width so 297 by 420 but instead we go for uh, the one that says uh, 420 by 297 uh, where's my a3 over here 420 by 297 it's a landscape orientation so we go with that and we change the plot scale to it should be one to one forget custom for now so one to one and the drawing orientation we want it to be uh, in uh, this format landscape otherwise if i select portrait then the drawing is going to be sleeping yet our presentation is in landscape and the drawing is sleeping so make it like this okay so the a shows you how uh, your drawing is going to appear on that paper okay so the paper is landscape and then uh, uh, you know the drawing is upright okay yeah you can experiment with other paper orientations and drawing orientation and notice the difference okay so that is enough setting for that part click ok close this so now we have a paper which is 49 uh, sorry 420 by 197 that is a standard a3 and we are talking of millimeters so from here where we see the dotted line up to that point that should be 420 and from here to there that should be 197 so the extra part uh, is what we call the bleed uh, usually
usually reserved for filing or after printing you can choose to cut it off uh, if at all you have a paper that is you're printing on a paper which is bigger than 497 by 192 then this dotted line will show you will be marked on the printer like the printer will plot the dotted line to show you uh, the size of the paper the actual size of the paper okay so that you can cut away the excess part but if your paper is exactly uh, 420 by 197 then the extra part won't be printed okay so that is how it works okay so what we're going to do is to uh, now we're going to put a border line um, or a border of some sort um, the default format is to make it uh, offset 10 millimeters from the edge of the paper so I'm taking the dotted part as the edge of the paper so it will be offset inwards by 10 uh, throughout let's forget the 20 from the side and then 10 10 10 okay so let's just forget that okay so we start off with a uh, rectangle tool uh, focus onto that point we first of all draw that border right at the edge of the paper we try to follow the dotted line there yeah, and then select the rectangle let go of the mouse and I'm going to type offset enter so specify offset distance you want it to be 10 so 10 now you are offsetting inwards and not outwards so inwards click inside let go of the mouse press escape to reset the cursor now select the outside rectangle get rid of it so we have that border is done now we want to put a title block and we need that title block to be um, we want it to be 120 by 60 so it should be about that size so we, we can't really specify that by dragging but we can be exact by choosing to follow this specify the other corner point or area dimension rotation we want to specify by dimension so there's no need using the mouse at this point you can always just type commands on your keyboard so dimension you choose d as you see that d is blue like the first letter the blue so it means you can enter the first letter only you don't need to type the whole word dimension so just type d press enter now specify the length of the rectangle uh, we want it to be 120 and then specify the width we want the width to be 60 so we have that rectangle which is not fixed it's rotating about this starting point until you choose to fix it here okay done now we need to divide this into five parts for something like name uh, registration number title um, uh, what else uh, name registration number title date and probably group or something okay because this is just for classwork so just divide the width by five those are the five spaces that we need so each space should be 12 so again let's use the rectangle tool click from here attempt to draw so it should be about that size so again specify by dimension type d press enter the length is the same 120 since the 120 is already here we only need to press enter yeah, but the width is different so we we are not using 60 so we type the width we need 12 and we have the rectangle just like before it's still um, yeah, yeah it can swing about that point the original starting point until you choose which direction okay, now for the rest of the division we are going to simply divide uh, sorry copy the this rectangle onto the other parts so simply type co for copy enter 
choose a base point we want to choose this one because it's easier to put it here and then there uh, than choosing any other point and then there and we are done okay so now those are one two three four and five divisions okay so now we need to put a section for uh, the name uh, registration number title date scale so that section and then we leave the other space for where we're going to fill the details okay so that we can still use the rectangle tool is easier click the rectangle tool or the line tool not rectangle uh, we want to make it about 35 by 60 so yeah we need to be exact so dimension d enter Length this time is 35 enter and the width is uh, 60 enter so we have that uh, it's still not stationed so we want it in this uh, to lie on that side okay so the title block is done now we go to the point where we add uh, the name registration number and so on so for that part uh, we have home ribbon insert ribbon go to annotate ribbon okay now we have this this is what we use to insert text either this multi-line text or single line text but we're going to use multi-line we just create one text object and copy it to the other parts so before you do that you have to set uh, the text sorry the font uh, style and size okay so click manage text styles and uh, we let's just modify standard uh, says area the font is area regular so we also have bold so let's take bold you know for the naming of that part take bold then the text height is more like the font size so text height has to be in uh, well in reference to well you have to consider the size of the box the width of that box so that is 12 millimeters so we need a text which is at least six um, maybe at most six in the text size so we should choose something like five or four okay we don't want to exaggerate it too much to make it look so big i'm going to go with five and um, you don't have to change any other thing and click apply and close okay now select multi-line text and just click and draw out a text area then type name uh, make sure it's capital letters so type name put that the colon uh, click away so we have name uh, i think this is too big right if we have this we might not have enough room to write uh, let me see range number title then we have date and group i think it will fit right it might fit okay it will fit so let's simply copy that name thing object to other spaces click and first for range number registration number title date scale and not scale group okay so we simply rename this double click to rename uh, rename this to let's just type range dot n o dot yeah i knew it was a little bit bigger uh, i thought it was okay we can always go back and reduce the font size so the other one we change it to title side title then change the other one to uh, maybe we start with group and then date last let's write the group then put the date make the date the last the date okay yeah, i think that's about it so let me go and reduce the size of this 
we go back to this so we can if you don't see any figure there so then just click here go to manage textiles let's change the height to we can change it to three apply close um, I could just create a new textile style one this area then it's three okay uh, yeah that okay that so if I select these and choose style one okay so that changes the size to a reasonable size okay uh, so that that is okay now, now for these other text the details that go in here you can choose a different text style you can go to this create new style too okay so you can choose to use area but um, not bold just uh, regular okay regular you don't want it to be too thick maybe um, so italic or not okay just regular is okay apply close so name uh, now we can select this and so the name part well i won't put my actual name but i'll just put my name so my name and so on and so forth okay so now you know what to do okay so you can go ahead and save this okay so now we've done a sheet layout for an a3 template in landscape orientation so you can choose various paper sizes according to your need okay so yeah that's it